relationship wise, there's a lot of things I would. By the way, like for real though, like not to talk about comments and all that stuff. We don't care about like subscriptions or comments and all that stuff. But realistically, we do care about is feedback. So if there is things that we do want to talk about, if you guys want to talk about too, let's let's talk about it. Like there's really nothing. Yeah. Let like we're we, all pretty open. Yeah, we're super open yes. people. There's really not a lot of things I don't want to not talk about, you know. And there's certain family issues I will never bring up. Like I'm not going to bring up other people's garbage, like my own personal family's garbage and stuff like right. that. I'll right. bring up my own version of it, but I won't bring up anything right. else. But I think that works with everybody here. So as long as everyone's like super open and easy going. Well, and right now this this whole session has kind of been a serious, more relationship we think. But at the same time, at some point we plan to discuss all of our uh, Hogwarts houses we've been sorted into, and like oh, yeah. you know. Who we think we've talked about, which celebrity is sorted into which Hogwarts house. And why Hufflepuff is obviously the best. <laughs> You're just jealous. <laughs> jealous of what? I feel like... Of my Black Stallion Patronus. Oh, man. Whatever. Um, now we're getting into this, man. Oh, my God. You guys are so jealous of my Black Stallion. I'm like a level 4 GM. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, no. Just because I'm a polecat, <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> anyway, are you gonna, yeah. Are you going to make up a coffee or fill up polecats? Have you guys... <laughs> done. It's done. Oh, have, you a... guys, have you guys seen the really stupid video on YouTube, uh, uh, Honey Badger Don't Give a Shit? Oh, yeah. I, Honey I Badger Don't Care. It. Honey oh. Badger Don't Care. Don't Honey Badger Don't Care. Really? Oh, man, yeah. it's really good. Someday. Like, comment, and subscribe if you think of Honey oh, Badger. <laughs> no. This is episode two. Joke, joke is funny only a couple times. Unless you're, like, a whiz. Going to, like, can... comment and subscribe. <laughs> um, unless you, like, comment and subscribe. It's <laughs> only funny. Oh, I'm saying that. You do. Bye. Sarah and I have a group that we always refer to. It, it changes members every now and then, but we call ourselves the Weekend Family. <laughs> And it's just, like, people who literally come, like, because it, it started basically in school when um, Sarah and I actually first really started dating. We would just have people come to our house or our apartments, basically, and just right, be like, right, right. let's hang out. Let's just hang out and have a group of people, do some studying for school, do mm-hmm. whatever you want. Cook we just all dinner. Hang out. Like, cook dinner. Like, everyone just brings their own stuff. Like, uh, bring some dollars if you want to, like, put it into the pot and stuff. And we just known as the weekend family. That when we hang out with our weekend That's family. That's really cool. And... We did, that, just, for we did that for a very long time, and we still really do. Like the weekend family right now is just Sarah, Greg, and myself. I don't know why. Just <laughs> <laughs> they can't see the hand gestures. I don't know why I stumble over the hand gestures. <laughs> um, but like, yeah, just just the idea that uh, as like just like we're just a fam. We are a family. Yeah. Like we're a family away from our family because a lot of the times too, we are away from our families. You know and. We don't get to see them as much and often and stuff, and it just kind of gives us a really good home basis. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we had a similar thing, kind of like that. It was not really weekend family; it was just kind of like the the sports crew. When I was living in uh, Campus Habitat, we oh, all oh yeah, all the, time. All, the yeah. all the people that come to sports games. And but it wasn't even that; was it was. was another couple that well, it was, really it was like just a group of people just a bunch of people it wasn't always the same people there were like four or oh, five yeah, people I guess who would kind of kind of change out, but, but basically what it was is my apartment um this it was just over the summer one summer um i was living up there working up there it was when the tigers actually did well and it was the tigers the yeah. last time the tigers got into the world series which then they botched it was four and in the series and they just were like womp womp so like whatever but that was also <laughs> the year Miggy won the triple crown so it was exciting to watch i'm excited to watch them play baseball and it was also the year that the Wings were um, in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And so they were going in the first round of the playoffs. Um, but we had somebody, we, you know, there was a game just about every night, whether it was the Wings or whether it was the Tigers. So we would have people over, and I had it set up because my roommate went home, so I kind of had the whole apartment to myself to do what I wanted. We had a nice, big, comfy couch in one corner, and then we had these two couches that were provided by the place we lived. It was a furnished apartment. It was a furnished apartment, but though they were really lightweight, so we actually took a really sturdy table I had, and we put the smaller set of couches on that table, and it's stadium seating in my apartment. And we had people like sit in the stadium seating. We'd all get like we'd all have a 
a beer or like you know just a, a drink, a drink and food, food or... and everybody come over like hey there's a game on the night like we're coming over and we have like four or five people over just about every night we watch a game and send them home but one night my friend uh, Gabby actually came over and she had she worked at Panera worked. yeah and what they normally have is at the end of the night they have somebody come up from um, the local food pantry come and pick up all their stuff mm-hmm. she waited for them to come at the normal time and then she waited 20 minutes past that they never showed up she's like well we're either gonna waste this or it's gonna come home with me. And we feasted. So she came over to my apartment and she had like a loaf of like <laughs> tomato basil bread that they oh, used oh, to yeah. make those paninis mm-hmm. and like, oh, like, oh my gosh. And like 18 different like sweets. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And like all these delicious different. We were like, oh my gosh. She was like, mm-hmm. she's like, are you happy? I was like, we can feast <laughs> for a month on just mm-hmm. this and whatever yeah. else but it's a similar situation but that's where uh, that's where our my our mantra came from our chanting curly fries oh yeah curly oh, fries that's where that started because curly <laughs> yeah. fries started out basically because we were watching the Tigers and what it was is if the Tigers hit three home runs um, and they hit the bell tire um, awning out in oh, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. right field yeah. if they hit that you get free curly fries from Arby's and if the wings score on a power play you get free curly fries from Arby's. I thought it was a hat trick. Was it a hat trick? Curly yeah. it's a hat trick. Okay. It doesn't happen very often. I'm sorry. Whatever yeah. it is, well, I apologize. Yeah. We were chanting yeah. for curly fries every night. Yeah. So, so <laughs> either <laughs> game it was, whenever, and sure enough, maybe like Miguel Cabrera, because he won the Triple Crown that year, and he was, yeah. he was home runs every night. We're like, we're just going to get it. So curly fries, <laughs> curly fries, curly fries. <laughs> we get the whole room chanting, chanting. And then we never really won curly fries, but well, that wasn't the point. The yeah. point was when the, I am convinced that that's what won the Cubs the World Series. <laughs> was this your year. chanting? Because like fries. they were in the bottom of what the tenth. Yeah. yeah. And like me and my roommate, I was like, chant with me, Tibbets. Curly fries. Curly fries. We both started chanting. Curly fries. Curly fries. And we just what I don't know, they beamed it into like third base. Third base threw the first, and they got the guy out, and the Cubs won. We were like, curly. Fries. Curly fries, <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> very next, the next day I come home from class because like I had told him about it. I come home from class, he's sitting on the couch and he's got like a large size curly fry from Arby's. <laughs> he's like looking at me and he's like, I have to pay tribute. And this <laughs> eating him, he's just smiling. And I was like, Yeah, the power of curly fries. But sorry, that gets me amped up whenever I think I just laugh about that. <laughs> Hashtag curly fries. Hashtag curly fries, man. <laughs> you got a team you got to have when you got a chance curly fries. Hello everybody, this is Greg again. I just wanted to let you know that we are taking a small break from posting these videos. We need to do another recording session, and this time there's going to be video as well. I know, it's exciting! Anyways, we really appreciated all the support you guys have given us over these well, however many videos it's been so far. I'm not entirely sure. But you, I think you'll like us, so we're going to keep doing it. And as always, have a great day. And that is all for now. <laughs>